Hey everybody, how you doing? This is about to be a really fun video. So I literally just got in late last night from my trip to Colorado. I had an antelope tag and we were also going for bison. The way that everything played out was such an incredible time, incredible experience. A whole bunch of awesome people got to hang out with this week. But while it's fresh on my mind, we're going to make this video real quick. Just to kind of recap, I'm going to put in some pictures that some of my friends took, some of the pictures that I took, and just talk about it. But at the end of the day, I dropped an antelope and a bison in their tracks. Boom! on the exact same day. Whirlwind tornado of a day, but we got it done in the last hour, if you will. Amazing, amazing trip. But long story short, I was in Colorado hunting with some of my friends and the folks at Axel. If you never heard of Axel, I got some right here, I'm sure. Axel, that is the hearing protection I've been wearing for almost two years now. If you guys that watch the video, you see me wear these. These are my GS Extreme 2.0s. Not only when you have these tips, that's for when you're flinging the boo lots. There's also uh, different ones for if you're just listening to music. But not only is it hearing protection, it's hearing enhancement and Bluetooth speakers. But all that being said, let me know if you got questions about any of their hearing protection. Not only do they have good stuff, and I trust it for my ears, Met three guys from Axel this week, hunted with us, Wes, Ray, and Jake. Incredible dudes. Had a blast hanging out, joking out, joking around with them, and dropping critters with them. Uh, but not only do they have some awesome, awesome stuff you need to check out. Let me know if you have any questions on the Axel stuff. But awesome, awesome, great dudes I had a blast hanging out with. Let me pop up some pictures of some of my buddies from Axel. So I know I got a picture of Ray. And his antelope. So check this out right here. I actually had the opportunity of hunting with Ray. He was in my group. And I got to watch him drop his antelope. Awesome, awesome time. Then there's Wes. He's with the actual crew too. Let me pop up a picture of Wes. He smoked, I believe, the biggest antelope don't hold me to it but i think that's what we talked about that wes smoked the biggest antelope antelope great dude awesome dude had a great time hanging out with him getting to know him better and then jake was there from axel as well check out this antelope that jake got jake was actually um got his antelope in the last hour if you will just like me on the very last day so good to meet all three of those dudes from axel had an absolute blast out there so let me, I'm just going to give you the quick rundown and I'm going to plug in probably some video and some stills here. I'm in the process of editing the, the actual hunting cuts uh, of this trip, the actual videos I'm going to release. But like I said, while it's fresh on my mind, I just got home late last night. Wanda, I'm still so jacked up and excited about it. Not only were we chasing critters with the folks from Axel, we also had up there Freddie Hartiz from Hartiz Ranch and Properties. We had my buddy Colin. He was up there. He smoked some critters too. My buddy Steve was up there. He's You might know him as Mr. Big Kid. He smoked some critters up there too. Good dude. Also, my new buddy John McAdams. He's with the Big Game Hunting Blog. Make sure you are on his newsletter, his webpage, and his YouTube. Super, super knowledgeable dude. I promise you won't regret um, checking out those guys, Mr. Big Kid and uh, John McAdams, like I said, the Big Game Hunting Blog. We're going to have those dudes on the show uh, really soon, and we're going to talk about it. You know, you guys know I could talk about chasing critters all day long. Also, my new buddy Clint was up there doing a whole bunch of camera stuff. Great dude. Had an awesome time getting to know Clint as well. But let's get into what happened here. Let's talk about antelope first. So in my hunting group, was me and Ray from Axel and then Freddie Hartize. He's uh, with the ranch that we stayed at, Hartize Ranch and Properties, awesome place, uh, good dude over there. So me and Ray and Freddie had tags for antelope. Day one, I missed one. <laughs> so long story short, I had my uh, rangefinder and it wasn't reading. So 
I guesstimated it was at 300 yards, but it was probably more like 500, and I missed low. Uh, but it is what it is. It may have even been a little bit further than that. Then uh, Ray got on an antelope. We kind of played back and forth. Well, I missed one. Now, the next one, you chase it, Ray. Uh, and then Ray missed it. Uh, call it what you will, but I think it was just another uh, ranging miss on our part. Uh, when you're out there, it's so hard to range it with your eyes. Um, and that day, we were even having problems with the range finders of grabbing the right uh, distance. Everybody's. Second day, we got on that antelope that Ray had missed, and then boom, he smoked it. Pop up another picture of that one. Um, and then we found another nice antelope, and I missed it at 600 yards. Um, looking through the scope, I think the uh, elevation was pretty good, but there was a lot of wind, and the wind hold that I did was wrong and just missed behind it. And then it jumped in the neighbor's property. So day one, day two, uh, and Freddie actually got his antelope that day, too. Um, but day one, day two, Freddie, in my hunting party, three dudes with antelope tags, Freddie and Ray got theirs, and I hadn't smoked one yet. Day three was our last day of hunting for this trip. And I said, well, we're going to run out to the unit where we're hunting antelope. And we just got a couple hours. Then we got to go try to get a bison. Like, it's the last hour, literally, that we can go after critters this day. I said, well, we're going to run out to the spot where we were, the unit where I had a tag, going to try to find one. And then if I don't find one quick, we're going to run up and chase some bison. If I do find one, then that'll be even better. Be fantastic. Um, it'll be super cool. Well, um, two buddies of mine, Colin, I'll pop up a picture of Colin here. Um, uh, and Steve, Steve, he's got the uh, channel called Mr. Big Kid. If y'all aren't already subscribed, go subscribe to him. Let me pop up a picture of him. Both my buddies, Colin and Steve, had already got their antelope and their bison. So they said, man, we're going to come with you. This is day three. And they helped me film. They helped me spot everything. It was just a, a fantastic day hanging out with my homies. In the truck this morning, glassing for some antelopes. We got Big Kid <laughs> and Colin and my new best pal, Danny, expert guide. <laughs> and we're fixing to find a big one out here. But incredible dudes, and that made day three even that much better. Um, hanging with my homies and extra cameras so we could make the final edits that I'm working on editing right now even that much better. But, long story short, day three, last day I can go after either one of them. Run up to the antelope property, right at the gate we see a small buck. His horns were only as tall as his ears. And I, we also had our guide Danny with us. Super cool dude. Let me roll in a picture with Danny here quick. Super cool cat. Whole lot of fun to hunt with uh, my new buddy Danny. But, I told Danny, ah! It's my last day. I will smoke that tiny one, uh, but let's run around the property and see what we can see. Um, and if we don't find something quick, we'll come back. We had kind of put one to bed in the middle of the property. So we actually ran to the middle of the property and sure enough, there was that dude that we had seen before. And we got on him 300 yards. I'm laying down prone. Steve's got the cameras rolling, Mr. Big Kid. Colin is on my camera, the zoom camera. And I'm laying down, this dude's in a, a, a cut road through the middle of this little pasture. And I said, I'm not going to drop him until we get get all the cameras on him. You know what I'm saying? I, I told Colin, I said, give me the thumbs up when you got him in the shot and it's focused. So we're waiting, waiting. It's It's so hard when you're all jacked up and you got grass different heights to get the focus on these things. And I don't know how long it was. It might have been 15 seconds. It might have been 30 seconds. But we couldn't get the cameras on this antelope. And it took off. We ended up seeing them again. Stalked them a little bit. Dark spot right in front of us. Yeah. Right before the tan. Yeah. Look upper left of that. They're, they're all right behind there in the tan. But then those 
that buck, which was a better one, took off. We couldn't get on them again. And I said, well, by this time, it's 8 o'clock. We had to get off that property by 9 in the morning to get up to the bison. I said, let's zing up to the front and let's get uh, that little one we saw at the front. I, I'd rather get that little guy than go home empty-handed. So then we're about halfway back to the front, and uh, my buddy Colin says, Whoa, man, look! Look out his window, and there has an antelope buck had come into the ranch we were hunting um, overnight that we hadn't seen all week, and he had about 15 does with him. Long story short, there was a perfect little uh, concrete water ditch right beside it. I said, Colin, you go first, pop up, get the camera on him, and then me and Steve are going to hang back. And you give us the thumbs up when you got him on the camera. So he's got him on the camera ahead of time. Boom, boom, boom. And Colin says, go up the fence. So I go up the fence maybe 20, 30 feet in front of Colin. Everybody's got the cameras rolling. Boom. <laughs> Drop that antelope. And by this time, it's like 8.30. We're supposed to be out of there by 9. So we ran up, did our thing, uh, took the pictures, finished the video. Our guy, Danny, like I said, class act, awesome dude, helped us out so much. <laughs> a big thanks to my new buddy Danny he ran us all over found us all some big bucks appreciate you big time had a blast out here then we hop in the truck and we're flying up to the bison my buddy Ray had just got his bison um, with his 300 rum and then uh, it was my turn uh, Got out there on the bison, um, got on some, they took off, whatever you want to call it, stampeding, herding away. Um, and then we found an, another herd a little bit further down in the bottom, and it was almost picture perfect. I picked out two. I'm going too fast, guys. I'm, I'm still so excited and scatterbrained. Let me go back to the antelope. If you didn't see the video where I was prepping and talking about what I was taking, this is my setup, my Ruger, I'm going to read it off here because I forget, M77 Hawkeye in 25 out 6 got that right on on there, that's the X1 Conquer, uh, super affordable scope there, and I've, I've flung those at a thousand yards if you want to see that video, and then we we're loading them up with the core locked, deadliest mushroom in the woods, boom, that baby right there, the 120 grain core lock, that's what I dropped my antelope with. Let me pop up a picture real quick again of me and that antelope. And then we went after the bison. Uh, like I said, we were on one, then they took off, then we got on another one. I snuck up to them. Uh, honestly, I think we're at 200 yards, and by the time that um, I actually pulled a trigger on them, we were a little bit inside 100. Uh, but in that second herd... I picked out two. I said, that one is an awesome one. And so is this one. I, and I told our guide and my buddies were with us uh, that day too. Colin and Steve, like I said, they already had their animals. So they were rolling cameras. Colin at the camera has no idea what he's doing. <laughs> my new buddy we met up there, Clint, he was rolling his cameras. Uh, Ray was still up there, like I said, because he had his, and then we had the guides with us. Um, I said, if one of these two gives us gives us a sh uh, opportunity, I'm going to smoke them. And sure enough, picture perfect on that second herd. It was The herd moved away, and for whatever reason, that one of the two that I had picked out stopped at the very end and just was staring right at us, then turned and... <clears throat> Lights out immediately, just like the antelope. Boom! Didn't take another step, uh, which is what the way that you want to do it. Um, and for the uh, bison, if you didn't see the prep video where I talked about what I was taking, um, I took this. This is my CVA Scout. If you haven't seen these, check them out. They're super affordable. Depending on where you can find them, 300 beans, 350 beans. It's a break action, uh, single shot on top. Uh, this one I got, uh, which, I always forget this model. This is a super nice Leupold, where does it say it? VX3HD on here, super clear glass. Uh, but yeah, awesome rig. In the 35 wheeling, 
A bunch of you guys said you really want to see some critters drop a 35 whaling or whaling. And for this one, if you didn't see the prep video, I said I was going to take this uh, 200 grain Remington 35 whaling. Also, in those prep videos, I did the drop charts and all that. So if that kind of stuff floats your boat, which I love seeing that stuff, go check out those prep videos where I cited those in and talked about what I was doing. But let me pop up a picture uh, here of my bison. Like I said, stay tuned for the full videos on both that antelope and the bison hunt.